Okay, auditing once again. Um, and uh, not only auditing, but audit logs. Uh, and just to, uh, you know, add one more thing that we've already reviewed, backups. And in this case, backups of the audit logs. Uh, well, that's, I'm jumping maybe ahead of myself. Um, an audit trail uh, is not just in terms of the network. It's not just in terms of system events. Um, but we've got, you know, physical uh, entities as well. Files, physical files. Who uh, checked out documentation uh, and when? Uh, how long have they had it? Is that long enough? Um, uh have, uh, you know, again, the, there's a, a separation of duties, a uh, separation of responsibilities. Here we have a, you know, maybe a media librarian. Maybe we have a documentation librarian. We, uh, you know, have somebody to audit um, certain uh, physical items. Um, backup tapes, uh, original media tapes, um, you know, stuff like that. So, um and, and, you know, once again, in terms of the uh, separation of duties, uh, operators and programmers uh, should not be in this position. That's just, you know, um, they are, you know, going to be the ones using, the, the ones performing the duties, the ones checking out things. So they shouldn't be uh, the person doing the checking out. So uh, a separate librarian or uh you know shop clerk whatever you want to call it somebody who makes sure uh that certain physical entities which may have to do with with information uh are accounted for um so that's that's part of our auditing uh lots of things um that we don't normally think of with regard to audit um, and as I uh, mentioned briefly earlier, um, backup procedures for our audit logs. How long do we retain logs of which type? You know, it's, um, there are going to be um, logs that we need to keep uh, for maybe a couple of weeks until we might notice that an incident has happened. Um, there might be logs that have no purpose at all um, after tomorrow. Uh, so we, you know, uh, there are going to be different purposes. And, and, you know, how long do we keep them? And then do we have um, backup procedures for them when we are uh, keeping them? Uh, the... Uh, yeah, the the backups um, in in terms of those those audit logs that we are keeping for a longer time are going to be probably more important, um, and then we we start thinking about uh, different backup principles. You know, do we we have the original copy? Um, do we have an immediate copy? Uh, of that, uh, you know, possibly even on the same machine, just in case something gets uh, corrupted or messed with. Um, there is a copy on site, but away from this machine. Uh, you know, maybe there is a copy off site, uh, so that we have that. Um, and again, audit the, uh, you know, the backups. Um, you know, are the backups in place and, and test them every once in a while. So, uh, you know, we've got, we've got that, uh, those types of, um, considerations, uh, with regard to our audit trails. Um, what are we going to audit? And once again, as, as I've mentioned before, uh, you know, we've got ingress monitoring. Uh, but there's also egress monitoring, you know, what, what is going out of our system. In a sense, you know, this is, we've already talked about this in terms of the, the librarian, you know. Uh, 
a an entity has gone missing, uh, what um, is that entity? And, uh, you know, who checked it out last? Who was responsible for it uh, when it went missing? Um, so, uh, egress monitoring is important. Um, what about um, uh, not just uh, auditing network traffic or system events, but people? Uh, you know, who was here? Who, who was on the machine? Who physically uh, was in the building in the machine room when the, uh, you know, master terminal uh, was activated to delete absolutely everything on our systems? Um, so, uh, you know, auditing, auditing people, uh, auditing traffic, you know, what's the volume of traffic? Just simple, pure volume of traffic. Is our network increasing? Uh, does that mean um, possibly that we need to increase our network capacity? Or does it mean that we need to look at... Uh, the possibility of an attack that somebody is um, you know running traffic on our network uh, as a precursor to an attack on us or possibly is attacking other people through us uh, you know those those types of things um, again uh, malware uh, and the uh, the, the indication that that makes that the Bastion model is wrong. Um, you know, don't look at your auditing just in terms of the Bastion model. Um, look at the egress. Uh, look at uh, your very flexible and possibly porous uh, security perimeter. Uh, you know, there's uh, lots of things that people don't think about because of that bastion model. So, you know, pay attention to all of these things and more with regard to audit.